Brushless eRevo and Emacs models require a break-in procedure on the slipper clutch to ensure consistent operation with the extremely high power output of the included MXL 6S brushless power system. The slipper clutch has been adjusted to the correct initial setting for break-in. Follow these steps to ensure maximum performance and life from your slipper clutch. Make your first few runs using the stock gearing and six or seven cell nickel metal hydride packs or two cell lipo packs. Drive normally. The slipper clutch should slip momentarily when accelerating aggressively on high traction surfaces. Listen for a whirring sound when the slipper clutch allows the spur gear to slip. If excessive slippage is noticed, stop driving immediately and let the slipper clutch cool for 10 to 15 minutes. When the clutch is cool, test drive the vehicle again. If you still experience excessive slippage, allow the slipper clutch to cool once more. After the model has cooled off, turn the nut clockwise one quarter turn to tighten the slipper. Continue to run the vehicle and monitor slipper clutch performance and readjust as necessary. When the run is complete, the slipper should be fully broken in. After break-in is complete, the slipper clutch is ready for any type of driving with up to 6S LiPo batteries. The optimal setting for the slipper clutch will allow it to slip only momentarily, if at all, under hard acceleration and high traction conditions. Always stop driving immediately if you notice excessive slippage and allow the model to cool before making any more adjustments. For more tips and tricks, subscribe to Traxxas Support or visit us on Traxxas.com.